everyone, it's Jen from Jack's Beanstalks and today we're going to work with the Spectrum Aqua Artist Markers. Uh, they're new from Spectrum Noir and they are a water-based dye and they work just the same as you would with watercolors, only they come in a marker form. So here we have a open package of the watercolors and they come with this really nice uh, tag that lists all the different colors and kind of gives you an idea of what color they are. Here's the marker and they're a little bit different shape than the regular Spectrum Noir alcohol markers. They are labeled on either end with the name of the color and they come with a brush tip and a bullet point tip on the other end and this is what they look like. I'm going to show you a few techniques today that use um, watercolor paper and I'm going to use this 3M painters tape and a clipboard and the reason why I like to use a clipboard is it's a small area that I can take my project down to and it's easy to move around um, and so I'm going to just take a little piece of watercolor uh, cardstock here and I'm going to tape it down and I'm just going to tape um, the four sides uh, but you can go, I would suggest, all the way around catching the corners and go all the way around all four sides because when you wet watercolor paper, it tends to buckle. So here, what I've got is an acrylic block and I've got some baby wipes, my paint brushes, a cup of water, and we're going to use these Spectrum Aqua markers and I'm just going to color it directly onto my acrylic block and it will not stain the block at all whatsoever. It just will wipe right up with those baby wipes and we're going to use the two different colors which I believe are amber and let me check the other color, amber and sunset. And I have a paper towel here and I'm going to wet my brush and we're going to do the first uh, technique using salt. So I'm going to wet my brush and I'm going to get my watercolor ink really, really wet onto that acrylic block. And we're just going to start spreading it across the watercolor paper. And notice how well it just blends right out. It's fabulous. E even to do uh, the ombre technique, so easy to do. As you can see right here, I'm actually doing that ombre technique where it goes dark to light. And I'm going to add in a little bit of the darker color in here and just keep um, spreading my water back and forth, dipping my brush in water. And I'm going to get this really, really wet. Um, not soaking wet, not to the point that the water drips off wet, but I do want to wet it enough so that when I add my salt, that that salt can soak up the color. And I'm just using a coarse sea salt here. I just bought it at my local market and I'm shaking it out onto my watercolor paper. And what it's going to do is do little tiny white dots. And you'll see after it dries, that salt has stuck to my paper and I'm just going to use a piece of scratch paper here and brush it off. And it takes a little bit to um, push it off because it actually is stuck to the watercolor paper, but the effect afterwards is really cool and it would be great to use a die, maybe from Crafter's Companion and use a die and do a die cut out of this. But as you can see, you've just got this great pattern from the salt and it just gives really good texture. This next technique, we're going to use alcohol to create a cool effect with our Spectrum Aqua Mark. And as you can see, I have taken and I've taped down with the painter's tape another piece of watercolor paper. And on these, I know one of those colors is Kingfisher and the other one is going to be the Peacock Blue. That comes from the Nature Spectrum Aqua set and there's three or four different sets. Nature, there is Primary, there's Floral, and there's Essentials. And I'm doing the same technique as you saw before. I'm wetting my brush. I'm doing kind of like that ombre effect, adding water, adding color back and forth. And what we're going to do is we're going to dry our watercolor paper completely. You can let it dry on its own or you can use a heat gun and hit it with heat. We just want that paper completely dry before we start dipping our paintbrush into our alcohol. And I'm just going to dip the, the same paintbrush I used to paint with 
down into the alcohol and just drip it around onto that piece of watercolor paper. And what's going to happen is that alcohol is going to spread the color pigment and leave kind of a white spot or a lighter colored spot where the alcohol hit. And as you can see, it's starting here. It almost looks a little bit yellowy, but once it dries, it's going to just be really, really white. And I'm adding on a little bit more alcohol here um, just to ensure that we've got good coverage. And as you can see, that's what it looks like. It's completely dry now, and we've got a nice white spot. So that's another effect that you can do with these Spectrum Aqua markers and just kind of use alcohol to make a design. Now on this one, I'm going to use the florals, and the two colors I'm using from the florals are Heather and Orchid. On my alcohol, or on my acrylic block here, I had left some of the blue from before and I'm just using a baby wipe, as you can see, and it wipes right off. I've gone ahead and I have um, embossed with some clear embossing powder um, my sentiment, which is Hugs and Kisses from the Crafter's Companion Friends and Family set, um, and a little random heart that I had on hand. And I've taken our two colors, the orchid and the heather, and I'm just going to go add water and go right over top. And it's kind of an emboss resist uh, technique because that embossing is going to resist the color that we're putting on this watercolor paper. And I'm going to go in and add my darker color, more water, darker color, and I'm going to go back and forth until I get the exact color coverage that I want from these Spectrum Aqua markers. And you can go as light or as dark as you choose. Uh, the more water you use, the lighter the color is going to be. So the less water you use, um, you're going to get a darker effect. And I'm going to zoom in here just so that you can see how that clear embossing powder is resisting the color. And I'm getting a, a really nice effect here um, with both. So I'm just going to let you look at this for a minute uh, while I finish coloring in. Okay, what I'm going to do is just take a dry paper towel and buff over my embossing here and just make sure that the majority of my uh, ink is off of my clear embossed image. All right, next what we're going to do is use the essentials. And I'm going to use three colors from the Essentials Spectrum Aqua packet, and they're sepia, chocolate, and tan. I'm going to do the same technique where I color it onto an acrylic block. I'm going to color all three of those colors on there. And then what I'm going to do this time is um, show you a little bit different technique where I take a little bit wider paintbrush and I'm going to lightly dampen my watercolor paper and then apply the ink. While I'm painting this piece of watercolor paper, I'm going to let you listen to some music. All right, now what I've done is I have completely dried my watercolor paper with a heat gun. And I'm just going to take my paintbrush and get that dog hair off first. Sorry. <laughs> I'm just going to take my paintbrush and drop little droplets of water all over um, my project here. And this is going to be magic. It's really cool what happens. Just make sure your watercolor paper is really dry. So take a dry paper towel and just blot. And that is the effect there that you can do with just water. Okay, our next technique, we're going to use some wax paper. And I'm going to use the e-brush. And we are going to actually airbrush our Spectrum Aqua onto the wax paper. I'm using um, a couple different colors from the primary set. Um, I have three here, but I decided to go with the gold and the burgundy. And we're going to start off with the burgundy. And you're going to want to use the brush tip. And as you can see, 
it's kind of hard at first to get it in until you turn it, but we're using the Spectrum Noir Alcohol Marker Adapter, and it does fit right into there, really easy. You just want to pop it in the whole way so that that brush tip is hanging over the edge of the air where the air comes out. And we're just going to lightly airbrush onto our wax paper with the burgundy color and making a, a really good round pattern. And then I'm going to come in with some gold. Next, what I'm going to do here is use this spritz bottle and just spritz over the top of my Spectrum Aqua um, airbrush with water. And then I'm going to take my cardstock rough side down and pick it up, pick that color up, and just move my cardstock around picking color up. And in between picking color up, I'm going to use my heat gun and I'm going to dry my cardstock really well and then come back in and pick more color up um, so that I get a really cool layered effect. I like the way it looks color upon color and um, just to get all of the color up off of this wax paper, I'm just going to heat and then pick up more color. So after I heat with the heat gun, it's all dry and this is what it looks like. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's Jen Cochran for Spectrum Noir and these were Spectrum Aqua techniques and tips. Thanks, bye.